Okay, just wanted to make a quick video for one of my customers that needs help replacing the Bluetooth module on their main board. So, um, so I've got the uh, unicycle, so you want to lay it down on the side. The power button will be closest to the ground. And the board, here, I have a main board that's out, um, just so we can kind of understand how it's oriented. So it's, it's oriented like this. Uh, in the unicycle so your Bluetooth module is actually right there so I'll take it out so you can kind of see it right there and it actually will plug in right there so basically what we need to do is get into the area where the main board is so I'll go ahead and, and demonstrate how to do that Alright, so first you want to take the padding and remove that, velcro it on, once you remove the velcro, then you've got two screws, so one, here I'll, I'll point it out, one screw at the very top, or one, one on the left, one on the right, and then if we go down here, there's one on the left hand corner, lower corner. And one on the right hand lower corner of the side panel. Once those are loose, you can go ahead and remove that. <clears throat> Some of these will have a battery here where uh, the battery just has adhesive, where the battery is stuck to the, the panel. So you'll have to pull, you know, just pull and, uh, and it'll come out. Uh, but you gotta you know, apply a little bit of force because it's the double stick adhesive and it's pretty strong, but it won't damage anything. If it's a 340 watt hour model, then chances are you won't have a battery on this side and it'll just come out pretty easily. So you have the main board exposed, so right here, and I can you can actually see the Bluetooth module in there. So now you have these two retaining screws, so you're gonna loosen both of those. I'll go ahead and do that. All right, we'll go ahead and loosen that. Let's see here, if I can get a good angle, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Here's one. And then we'll loosen the other one. Both of those. Okay, so to get into the, the side panel, uh, what you want to do is remove the, uh, the, the Velcro uh, padding. And this will reveal the, where the screw holes are. So there's a screw here, a screw here. I've already undone this, but for you, you would just uh, undo the screw here, screw here, and then there's a screw on the bottom left and screw on the bottom right. Once you do that, it'll come loose. Um, since there is adhesive on the battery side, it may take a little bit of prying to get this off, but if you just pull and continue to pull, you'll, you'll feel the uh, adhesive release. Once it does, you'll reveal the uh, battery side. <clears throat> so, I have a board. Um, this is just a spare that I have just to kind of show you where the uh, Bluetooth mod module would be. So, the board's actually oriented like this. In the unicycle and what you'll do is you're going to slide uh, slide it out like this so first we want to disconnect the battery there's the and then also disconnect the this is the charge connection here so this goes up to your charging port and then this is your battery uh, XT60 connector once you do that you can remove the battery and just put it off to the side and then you'll actually see the two retaining screws once you loosen those oops, had it on tighten once you once you loosen those then the board should slide out pretty easily um, the cool thing about this, about replacing this Bluetooth module, you don't have to 
really disconnect anything. You know, you can leave all of this stuff connected. So I'm actually pushing from the other side. So you may have to undo uh, both sides to be able to push from the other side. And then it should slide out. Just like, no, just like that. My dog, my dog is trying to <laughs> chew up wires here. Okay, so once you get it out like this, the Bluetooth module is actually right here. And usually it's siliconed to one of these big capacitors here. Um, so you can actually take, what I did was take uh, like an X-Acto knife or any sharp knife, and you can actually cut uh, along the edge of that to re uh, re release the, um, the, the silicone. So I won't actually do it with this board. I'm going to go ahead and slide this back in and just show you. How to, how to remove it. So you see, they are identical. So once you pull this out, I've already I've already sliced, uh, cut this with a knife here, so it's easy. Once it once you get the silicone off um, or cut, then you can pull the Bluetooth module off. There it is. And, and sorry, and that just goes in. There's a little four pin connector here, and you would just push that on and then you can actually seal it uh, some people have used tape but you can I recommend using the same type of silicone adhesive um, let's see if we can get a close up yeah right right there and that's it so remove and replace and then you can push it back in and button everything up you're gonna put the retaining screws back in and then, of course, connect your battery and charge, and uh, put everything back together, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching.